Welcome to AI TV News. In this explainer, we examine the recent death of a 61-year-old man on Long Island who was fatally pulled into an MRI machine, a stark reminder of the invisible power inside everyday medical technology. According to Nassau County Police, the man was visiting Nassau Open MRI in Westbury on Wednesday, July 16, 2025, to accompany someone having a scan. He entered the scanner room without authorization while a study was underway. Because he was wearing a heavy metal chain, the machine's powerful magnet drew him in. He suffered critical injuries and died the next day. Investigators say the incident appears to be a tragic accident. No criminal charges are expected. The imaging center has declined comment. To understand how something like this can happen, let's review how MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, works. Each scanner contains a superconducting magnet thousands of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field, and that magnet is always on. When radio waves are added, the system produces detailed pictures of organs, muscles, and other soft tissue without using X-rays. That ever-present magnetic force creates what professionals call the projectile effect. Any ferromagnetic object, keys, pens, wheelchairs, oxygen tanks, or jewelry can be sucked toward the bore of the scanner at extreme speed, turning into a dangerous missile. In the case of a chain or necklace, the victim can be choked or slammed against the machine before anyone has time to react. Because of this risk, imaging centers follow strict safety rules. Everyone, patients, staff, and visitors must be screened and must remove all metal objects before getting anywhere near the magnet. Most facilities use a four-zone layout. Zone 1, public areas such as the waiting room. Zone 2, a supervised screening space where belongings are checked. Zone 3, a restricted control room for authorized screened personnel. Zone 4, the scanner room itself, accessible only after all prior checkpoints. Physical barriers and warning signs are designed to make it virtually impossible to wander into Zone 4 unnoticed. When those barriers fail or are bypassed, tragedies can occur. Such events are rare but not unheard of. In 2001, a six-year-old boy was killed when an oxygen tank flew into an MRI. In 2023, a man in Brazil died after a handgun was pulled from his waistband and discharged inside the scanner room. Each case underscores why even a momentary lapse in protocol can be deadly. The Nassau County investigation will focus on how the Long Island visitor managed to reach the magnet with a metal chain still around his neck. Whatever the findings, the lesson is clear. The safety instructions around MRI machines exist for a reason, and they apply to everyone in the building. This has been an AITV News Explainer. Stay safe and thank you for watching.